Hello again. This is a mini grease gun I picked up off of eBay a couple weeks ago. So I decided I wanted to try and be able to use this like a traditional grease gun and not have to worry about uh, getting the grease to flow out of the nozzle after it's been filled. So what I did was I made the base here so I could remove it. I got a little spring clip and this whole plunger uh, assembly now can be removed and it, it's set up where I can use it just like it was originally if I so desire. Uh, so I have a compression spring here again the end cap I have held in place with a little spring clip I made out of piano wire. The original uh, cup here I, again I can just remove this rod. It's a piece of quarter inch rod. I just threaded it. And I have a little stopper here that I can pull it back and lock the handle in place when I want to load the gun with grease. Uh, this original cup here I welded on a coupler, a mechanical coupler, and on the top uh, I took an o-ring that fit nicely on the inside of that barrel and just used marine epoxy and glued it in place. So there, again, there's a compression spring, just something I had. Uh, on the top I drilled and tapped quarter twenty so I can remove the screw and bleed any air that's inside. Again, if, if I want, I can put this plunger back in here, put the cap back on, the cap back on, and use it just like it was sold to me. But I don't want to do that. To reassemble it, with the compression spring and the pieces I made. Put that back in there. Put that back in there. Thread it into the coupler. Like so. And line up the holes in a and put my spring clip back in one side. And the other side. And again to put grease inside, you just withdraw it and that little pin I put in there holds it. Remove the top. Again there's the bleed screw for the air and of course you can't see there's the epoxy o-ring and that's got a pretty good seal. I was afraid if I didn't put that o-ring on there that the grease would bleed back through. And I think what I'm going to do is in between uses I'm just going to withdraw this piston and just leave it like that. So I'm going to put grease in this thing and we'll see how it works. Okay I have to put grease inside. I didn't fill it all the way to the top. That'll be a good test of the uh, air bleed. And yes, there is grease in there. So I'll put the cap back on it. Cap's back on it. Take out this bleed screw. Release the plunger. Oops. 
and you can see the grease come right out. So that compression spring is doing what it's supposed to. So I'll put that bleed screw back in there. See if this works. There she is. Works pretty good. So that should save a lot of hassle trying to get this thing to get primed and working all the time. I kind of like that. And like I said, when I'm not using it, I'm just going to withdraw that plunger and leave it like that and I can just hang it up. So that's it for this one. Have a nice day and thanks for taking the time to watch my video.